It's two and a half years since the launch of a regional protection strategy for refugees in the Lechad region. But life hasn't improved for many living in the area. Boko Haram attacks have escalated in the past three months, despite the Nigerian government declaring victory over the armed group two years ago. The nine-year conflict has recently forced additional 320,000 people in four countries from their homes, and the crisis is getting worse. The situation is dire. We don't want to alarm anybody, but we call attention of all the governments, including the international community, that this situation is not improving. We have a situation that is getting desperate, if I could say so. And if the war with Boko Haram isn't bad enough, the meeting in Abuja heard of other threats to regional stability. The United Nations says in addition to combating Boko Haram, countries in the Lake Chad region are facing growing humanitarian challenges. They include separatists fighting in Cameroon and farmers competing for land with cattle herders in Nigeria, as well as Burkina Faso and beyond. Their fight has displaced hundreds of thousands of Africans. The United Nations is warning that the crisis will worsen unless they are addressed quickly. The Nigerian government says it's achieved successes in combating Boko Haram violence but has also admitted the continuing attacks, particularly in remote regions, is causing enormous humanitarian challenges. In most of these remote areas, access to interventions is sometimes very, very difficult. And of recent, we've had uh, some attacks in some communities of the northeastern part of Nigeria. We also have uh, people that have uh, fled uh, to, to the neighboring countries of Niger, Cameroon, uh, and Chad. We have also have influx of refugees coming into Nigeria from Cameroon. Aid agencies warn more than 2 million of the 11 million population in the Lake Chad region urgently need help. The United Nations says the demand for help will probably increase if the number of Boko Haram attacks isn't reduced. A desperate situation now, which the UN says could become even worse in the next 10 years. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abuja.